Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to talk about TCP and UDP. Let's start with TCP. TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol. TCP is one of the main protocols of the Internet Protocol suite. TCP is a transport layer protocol that provides a reliable stream delivery and virtual connection service to applications through the use of sequenced acknowledgement. TCP is a connection oriented protocol as it requires a connection to be established between applications before data transfer. Through flow control and acknowledgement of data, TCP provides extensive error checking. It guarantees that data is received correctly. Without TCP, some of data could be missing. If you view a web page without TCP, it all could be messed up. TCP ensures sequencing of data, which means that data packets arrive in order at the receiving end. Retransmission of lost data packets is also feasible with TCP. It means if data packet goes missing, then TCP will resend. TCP includes a mechanism to solve many problems that arise from packet-based messaging such as lost packets, out-of-order packets, duplicate packets, and corrupted packets. For example, when you want to view a web page or download a file, you would expect to view the web page complete and unbroken with nothing missing. And if you are downloading a file, you would want full file not just a part of the file because if data is missing, it would not be any good to you. TCP ensures three things. Data reaches the destination, reaches on time, and reaches without duplication. TCP automatically breaks data into packets before transmission. When two computers want to send data to each other over TCP, they first need to establish a connection using a three-way handshake. First computer sends a message to the second computer with the SYN, stand for synchronize, which secures full transmission in the correct order. The second computer receives the request and agrees to the connection by sending back a message with acknowledgement plus SYN. In the final step, First computer replies back with an acknowledgement. Once the computers are done with handshake, they are ready to send and receive data. Let me simplify with an example. When an email is sent from an email server, TCP layer divides the message into multiple packets, give them the number and then forward them to the IP layer for transport. At the IP layer, each packet will be transported to the destination email server. While each packet is going to the same place, the route they take to get there may be different. When packet arrives, the IP layer hands it back to the TCP layer, which reassembles the packets into the message and hands it to the email application where it shows up in the inbox. Some important features of TCP Connection establishment, connection management, bandwidth management, time management, end-to-end -end communication, point-to-point -point mode, full duplex and multiplex service, congestion control, and crash recovery. Drawback of TCP, it cannot be used for broadcast and multicast connections. Let's talk about UDP. UDP stands for User Datagram Protocol. UDP does not require a handshake. It is a connectionless transport layer protocol that provides a simple but unreliable message service. Unlike TCP, UDP adds no reliability, flow control, and error recovery. UDP is useful in situations where the reliability mechanism of TCP are not necessary. Retransmission of lost data packets is not possible with UDP. UDP speeds up communications by not formally establishing a connection before data is transferred. This allows data to be transferred very quickly but it can also cause packets to become lost in transit and create opportunities for exploitation in the form of DDoS attacks. This means that hackers make a website unavailable by flooding and crashing the website with too much traffic. Let's talk about the working of UDP. UDP is a standardized method for transferring data between two computers in a network. Compared to other protocols, UDP does this process in a simple fashion. UDP 
sends packets directly to a target computer without establishing a connection first and does not look after whether they arrive or not. UDP does not give guarantee of data delivery. UDP packets are referred to as datagrams. UDP is commonly used in time sensitive communications where occasionally dropping packets is better than waiting. Voice and video traffic are sent using this protocol because they are both time sensitive and designed to handle some level of loss. For example, VOIP, voice over IP, which is used by many internet based telephone services, operates over UDP. UDP is also ideal protocol for online gaming. Benefit of UDP Broadcast and multicast connections are possible with UDP. Alright, thanks for watching this video on a comparison between TCP and UDP. Please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.